been wanting to film for quite a while now. We just want to do sort of a tour of the San Francisco neighborhoods, revisit some of our favorite spots and just show you some of the places that we found really special and really enjoyed. And especially this is because with the pandemic happening and so much change happening in people's lives these days, um, we're really thinking like maybe now or never. There's a lot of Ethiopian places in San Francisco, in the Bay Area, but what's really special about Oasis Cafe is that all of their injeras are gluten-free by default. It's 100% made of teff, which is a green that they grow in Ethiopia, and they also are one of the very few that serve okra, which I really, really love. This one is called full. It's really tasty, so I always order it and we eat it with regular bread. We just got here to Alamo Square. It's a pretty steep climb up this hill here, but at the top we're hoping to find a place to sit and eat. Oh, there's a spot right here. Alamo Square is mine and Bev's favorite park in San Francisco because very beautiful. It's like really well taken care of. There's a variety of plants. The view is really nice. You might be more of a vibe of reading a book, taking your dog out for a walk, um, having a picnic. And also in the immediate area is these really nice old beautiful Victorian homes including the painted ladies which a lot of tourists love to come by and take photos of. I have been in one of the houses, so they're all residential houses, but my friend invited me to a networking event. The people who live in those houses are definitely wealthy. The furniture, like they were so nice and I felt like I was in Europe. It Sunset looks is so much nice better. at the end of at the end of the day going over the all the tall buildings. Mm -hmm. Looks so nice. I've always wanted to live right by the Alamo Square Park, but we once checked out a space around here and it was way too expensive for what we were going to get and so we ended up living in a neighborhood right next to this so we were still close enough to be able to visit quite often especially during the panini and there's quite a few places that we like to go to when we visit this neighborhood There's a lot of things to do here and have access to in the neighborhood. There's bars, there's a wine bar that we just got this drink from. There are boutique shops, there's a local grocery store, there is a bakery, coffee shop. So lots of really great things to just come here and just hang out, spend time. This is Emporium. They have pool, they have a bar, they arcade have arcade. And bar. Yes. So this is one of the places we went to for one of our first dates. They don't mm. open until 4 and obviously Omicron is surging so we don't want to go in there even if we really really want to. One of my favorite stores is Wear Device. They're closed right now but they have really cute products. Another place we like to go to and have gone to is Church of Eight Wheels, a church that was converted into a skate rink. At this skate rink, people really get into it. They love to get dressed up. They make a big event out of it. People are wearing streamers. They're wearing glow lights. So yeah, it's a lot of fun and um, wanted to go to those places today. But of course, because of COVID, we're not able to do that. So.
feel like we experienced like half of what it is because of COVID. We can't go into places. It's also like was been raining a lot, so we didn't know how it was gonna be today. Mm -hmm. Today was a special day because it's gorgeous outside. In terms of vegan food, if you Google vegan restaurants in Alamo Square, you're not gonna get a lot of results. You really gotta know which restaurants have vegan options. So normally we go to another neighborhood to go get dinner. It's a neighborhood that is close by, but we're not gonna go there today. We're gonna go there in our next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of our series and we will see you in our next episode. Bye. Kita kids. Kita kids.